Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now, if you've wanted to get into 3D printing but just don't have the space, uh, let's face it, not everyone has a dedicated place in their home where they can have 3D printing, and therefore it's probably in a common living space. Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at a very compact printer from Creality. It's the Sermon V1 3D printer, and it actually comes in two versions, a V1 and a V1 Pro. And it's compact, it's quiet, it does some fantastic prints. So check this one out right here. This was printed on the printer, and we've been seeing this uh, all over uh, the internet, right? So this articulating dragon is something else that we printed on it. So in today's video, we're going to talk about this printer. We're going to look at all the specs. We're going to see why you may want to consider this for your home. Uh, it's a super easy to use printer. It's kid friendly too. And it's something that prints incredibly well. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, as we said, the Sermon V1 is a compact printer and the build plate and all the dimensions you're going to find fit that compact nature. So we're looking at 175 by 175 by 165 millimeter build plate. Now, it does have automatic bed leveling and it has a magnetic sheet, which is going to make it very worry free to be able to take off prints. You also have print temperatures uh, from a nozzle perspective, 250 C and then the bed up to 80 C. So this is going to give you the ability to print. Um, you know, I would say some higher end materials as you're going to see in a second. It does have a touch screen and it also supports uh, the new Sprite Drive extruder that Creality just recently released and we saw on the Ender 3 um, S1 just recently as well. So new, uh, new extruder, which is going to give you some great prints. Again, four millimeter print nozzle and it's an ultra quiet printer. This is something that you can have anywhere in your home um, it looks great, right? It looks like a little small microwave or uh, some type of appliance. And because it's so quiet, no one will notice that it's printing. It's also going to be able to print PLA, um, ABS, PETG because of the fact that it's enclosed and those print temperatures that we just highlighted. It supports Wi-Fi printing too. So this is the Creality um, ecosystem of printing. So you could print from your phone, which is also fantastic. It does have a filament, a filament runout sensor and it also has power recovery. And if you do get the Pro version, the big difference between this one that you're seeing here and the Pro version is that when you open up the door, the system powers off when you, um, or not powers off, it stops the print. And then it also has a webcam so that you can see your prints if you're not at home. So we've been running this printer for about a month now and I've been really, really happy with the print quality. We haven't had any failures. Uh, again, the slicer is using the Creality slicer. We've been just having a great experience with this printer and I would say, you know, without even going through the rest of the video, if you're looking to get into 3D printing and you're looking for something that's compact, small, and you live in a shared space where you don't have a dedicated space or something like this, then this is definitely a printer to consider. So let's take a closer look at the printer. We'll take a look at the prints. We'll look at, you know, how it works and you'll learn more about the Sermoon V1. Now, there's several things to like about the Sermoon V1. First is the size. So if you're looking for a starter 3D printer, something to have in your home and you don't have a dedicated spot for it. So in, in right here in our area, we have a dedicated spot. You can see all the printers that we have in the background. But if you're in a small apartment, uh, if you have a shared space and you wanna be able to have something that's not gonna take up a lot of space, it's not gonna be loud, then this is definitely a printer to consider. Plus, the the printer has several areas that you can actually uh, view and see what's going on in the printer, which is going to be great for kids too. So at the very top, you can see that there is a transparent opening that actually gives you great viewing as to what's being printed. You have in the front, the door area is also going to give you great viewing. And on the side here, you're going to be able to see what's going on. So these three sides really give you a great viewing of what's going on. Uh, the next thing is that you know, all of it is very accessible. So by opening up the door right here, simple, it's magnetic. You're able to get access to the build plate easily. The top is also removable. Uh, this comes off very easily, uh, just with your hands, just like this. And then all of a sudden now you have access to the top of the printer. And again, gives you uh, a great viewing space to see what's going on in the printer. In the front, you do have your SD slot right there. So you're able to, uh, again, load your prints. This does also support Wi-Fi, as well as the Creality app. And the, the bed plate itself, while it is small, is still pretty functional. I'm gonna remove this just for a second so you can look at it. We've been doing a lot of prints, so we've been doing probably about for a little bit over a month now, we've been really cranking out the prints on the printer. And the build plate has, um, I would say, some battle scars from all the printing that we're doing. And it's, again, magnetic. 
it's flexible. Uh, the build plate, I think, is a relatively good size for a lot of prints. And as you saw, it's really easy just to place it back in place. And you can see how magnetic that is. It's just like, it really, you gotta hold it because it's gonna grab on really quick. So I'm just gonna adjust it right here and try to get it right in the center. And then uh, that's all it takes to, to set it up. Now the spool for this printer is found on the side, which you're gonna see in a couple seconds. And while this does have a Bowden tube right here, the Bowden tube, um, really, it's a direct drive. So it's using the same new uh, Sprite direct drive that we saw on the Creality that's um, in the back, all, all the way over there in the corner. That is the Ender 3 S1, which I absolutely love. Now, there is a difference here. This does not have the probe that comes down to do the bed leveling as the other one. And this one, because this is not the Pro version, does not have the built-in webcam. So there's a version of this that comes with the webcam. This one doesn't have that. And also, it doesn't have the sensor where you, if you open up the door, the prints will stop automatically. Those are the two things that are, that are missing, the webcam and then the door trigger, um, the difference between the V1 and the V1 Pro. Now on the side here, you can see where the filament spool is. It's really easy uh, to just load here on the side, and it claps away really nicely. So if you're not doing any printing and you want to, let's say, put this to the side, it just closes just like that, and you don't have to worry about that being in the way. And then once you're going to start printing again, all you got to do is open that up just like this. Um, it, it almost looks like a handle, so it serves almost like a, not something that you're going to grab, but the way it comes out, and then you're able to have the, the filament spool up there. You do manual feeding of this, right? So you just push it in because it doesn't have any kind of drive or loader right here. The actual, again, this is a direct drive system. So you're gonna push it through all the way to the print head. And then once it starts, uh, I would say, uh, you start seeing the actual filament uh, somewhat ooze out of the print head, then you know that you have fed enough. Now keep in mind, anytime you're gonna do this, standard practice with 3D printers is make sure that everything is preheated. Now next we'll take a closer look um, inside the printer so you can get a better look at the print head. And then also we'll take a look at the menu. Now we'll go ahead and take a peek inside. Uh, everything is really nice and neat. Uh, you can see the actual new print head there at the very top. Um, there's really no cabling that you have to worry about. And um, there's nothing really to put together when you receive this printer. All you do is really remove the secure ties that are holding everything in place. And then once you've done that, you're, you're pretty much ready to go. You do your bed leveling and then you load your filament and you can start printing out some of the sample prints. Now the menu system that we have for the interface is very similar to what we found on the Ender 3 VS1 that's right behind this printer. So pretty much what you have here is the ability to go into your print setup, we can look at the case fan, LED control, Wi-Fi, auto Z leveling, you know, moving the access. You also then have all your device information, firmware version, hardware version, um, all that good stuff right there. And you can do also a system reset go out of here for a second. You also then have your print mode, and in your print mode, you can determine if you're printing PLA, ABS, right? You'll be able to make those choices here on the side, um, close heating, and then also uh, feed and retreat the filament, if that's something that you need to be able to do to be able to remove it. Now, we'll go ahead and go back. Uh, from a print perspective, things are pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and do a print, and we've been doing a lot of stuff on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose something that we're gonna be using for CES. Um, this is gonna be a adapter for my Arsenal, and we'll go ahead and hit print. Now, a couple things that you'll see happen. Uh, first of all, it's gonna go ahead and start raising the temperature. Uh, you'll see uh, very uh, here at the bottom, this is your nozzle temperature, and then this is your bed temperature. Uh, you also have your print speed dealt with when you compare the actual print time that you see on the slicer and the actual print time that they actually match. As far as the warm-up period, it does take a little time to warm up. It's not the fastest printer that I have tested that or have that when it comes to actually getting the bed ready for temperature or the print nozzle. So, you know, that's just something that you become accustomed to when you're working with 3D printers. So you can see your print time right there. If you go over here, there's things that you can adjust. You can, you know, adjust the nozzle temperature uh, if you want to, uh, turn off the LED. You can do the Wi-Fi stuff as well. Uh, the great thing about this printer, especially if you have the Pro, is that you do get the webcam, and the webcam is built here at the very top, so it gives you a really good view of what's going on inside. Now, while the printer is starting, you're going to see it um, start to lay its first layer. We're going to take a look at some of the prints that we ran off. And first, we're going to start out with prints that were on the SD card and pre-sliced by Creality. So uh, right here, this is our first one. This is an articulating turtle. Uh, you can see uh, what the turtle right here looks like. Really, really nice quality. 
uh, great first layer too. So the first layer right there, as you can see, is really, really nice. Uh, and everything works, it's a print in place. Uh, the next one that we printed was a dinosaur. And this is another articulating dinosaur, so you can see that right there. See the dinosaur? That one works out really well too. How that looks. Let me see if I could change. Now while the printer's printing, let's take a look at some of the files that we printed that were right on the SD. Now keep in mind that all of these files were pre-sliced by Creality. Uh, so here's one that we were checking out. This is an articulating dinosaur, right? And again, uh, one of the things I, I tend to look at is what does the first layer look like? And this one came out pretty good. This was our very first print. Our second print that we printed was a turtle. And this is a, an articulating turtle. This was a print and place turtle. So you can see how clean this looks. Very, very uh, nice quality. Really, really like the way everything turned out here. And you can see how good that very first layer is. Really, really nice. Uh, we also then printed out, this is a paintbrush holder. So you can see what this holder looks like. Really nice, again. All of these are, are done with the standard settings. You can see what that first layer looks like, right? Very nice and clean, no stringing. This is just exactly how it came out. Now the next one we took a look at is the, this moon figure. Uh, very nice, clean print. So you can see, rotate that. It has some support still on it. I just left them on there so you can see. But everything looks really, really nice, right? Uh, first layer, you can see what the first layer looks like right there. You can see the top. Very nice. Now, I wanted to see uh, what would, you know, something that I sliced myself. Uh, so I downloaded the Creality software uh, for this specific unit. It's a 4.8 um, Creality software. And I uh, printed out a Benchy. So, you know, this is what a, the Benchy looks like. You can see again, a uh, great first layer again. Move that over right there. Everything looks good, All right? Good quality. Uh, we printed a temple or a pyramid, actually. This is a pyramid. And you can see how nice that quality is. You can see, uh, again, first layer. Very nice and clean, right? Very good. Now, this last print has become a very popular print. Uh, this is the articulating dragon, right? So you can see uh, this guy right here. Printed in place, no supports and all the pieces work really nicely. And I'll tell you, that's, that's impressive. Uh, so you can see how it looks right there. Everything articulates like it's supposed to. And again, no supports whatsoever. So you can see uh, that quality is just really, really good. I really, really like this and how well it looks. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Sermoon V1 3D printer. See you in the next video.